Welcome to I Can Science That, where I like to do honest investigations of everyday science. I've been working through a video series with responses to the video linked up there, which is a debate between Austin Witsit and Dave Farina. As I was watching this debate myself for the first time, I kept running into these moments when Witsit would say something or present something that just was devastating to his own case. And yet, uh, Farina didn't really capitalize on it, didn't really call it out. As I've said before, I don't think Dave Farina really approached this debate in the same way that he's approached other debates. And, and frankly, I understand this is a different group of people, uh, a different level of scientific understanding. But at the same time, I just kept saying to myself, yeah, but do you not see this? <laughs> and, and that brings me to one of my favorite points that Austin Witsit loves to bring up, and that is the axis of evil. So let's hear him present about the axis of evil. Here we go. Gee, it's go about ahead. is the earth moving or not? So okay. in the current model that the earth is flying around the sun, the universe, whatever, it's every, all the energy should be evenly distributed. That's called homogenous, and it should be isotropic, meaning it has no preferred direction. Okay, okay, but what they saw was that it was inhomogeneous and anisotropic, and actually the part that had a preferred direction intersected on the Earth. And they ended up calling it the axis of evil. And then what they saw was that this, this anisotropic inhomogeneous distribution of energy was actually on a 23.4 degree tilt, which was supposedly the Earth's tilt, but it was see, observed way beyond our quote unquote galaxy, which means it could not have been the Earth tilted. So it's a major problem. The CMB matched the geocentric model. Oh, I am calling this a response video, and this is my response. And please do share this with Austin Witsit. I would love to hear him uh, give me any kind of an answer to this. The question I have for you, Witsit, where did you get this data? This data of the cosmic microwave background? It's, it's on the screen. It's right there. We're, we're all looking at it. And what is this link that we're looking at? Let's click the link, shall we? The moderator is literally showing this page, the Cosmic Microwave Wikipedia page, and he's emphasizing this image, which is labeled. It's labeled right there on the screen during the debate. What is this Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe? What is that? What's it? What is that? Let's click the link. Oh, it's a satellite from NASA. This is a NASA spacecraft. You're showing us data on a debate about flat Earth where you are using data from a NASA satellite. Let that sink in, folks. This is Austin Witsit's proof that the Earth is flat. He's showing satellite data. At this point, I, I, I'm baffled. I don't know why this isn't just the end of the debate and the end of Austin Witsit as a representative for flat Earth at all. As a believer in the flat Earth, Witsit doesn't believe space exists. He doesn't believe satellites are even a thing. And he doesn't believe that NASA is telling us the truth. All right, Witsit, so, so satellites aren't real. Space is fake. And yet this WMAP data is legit, right? Um, okay, so like maybe you're going to say the satellite's not real. They used a balloon or something. It's not a satellite. It's a balloon. Or The bottom line is simple. If you believe the Earth is flat, you must insist that NASA faked this. NASA has faked it. They cannot have used the satellite that they claim to have used if the Earth is flat. Orbital mechanics don't work, right? There, there are no orbits around our globe Earth if the Earth is flat and that there's no space, right? So they faked it. If they faked it, why is this the linchpin of your presentation? Why are you showing this evidence 
which, according to you, must be fake. If there are any mainstream science contrarians out there, flat earthers, level earthers, who are watching this and you have been a supporter of Whitson all along, I hope the irony of this simple revelation is not completely lost on you that Austin Witsit frequently brings up this axis of evil. And where did he get the axis of evil from? He got it from NASA and the Wilkinson microwave satellite. There's more recent data available um, from the Planck satellite, and that's from the European Space Agency, ESA. And they have a very similar diagram. Here in this picture, you can see that the more modern Planck satellite gives higher resolution data, but it, it corroborates everything that the WMAP data gave. But however you slice it, this is data presented to us by space agencies, both NASA and ESA, using satellites that they put into orbit around the Earth. But of course, satellites are fake, and space is fake, and so this data is fake, and so what's your point? Why are you bringing this up if this data is fake? Or is the data real, but somehow space is fake and satellites are fake, but the data is real? How does that even work? All right, let's do comments. Try to remain civil down there. If there's anyone out there who has been a supporter of Austin Witsit, I'd like to hear your opinion. Does this data belong in a flat earth discussion as presented by a flat earther? How do we justify showing satellite data from NASA as a flat earth evidence? We'll dig into this data more in the next video.